Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's vid, I'm just doing a chill little voiceover showing you how I created this bronzy look using the ColourPop Zodiac palette. The first shade I'm going to use is the Taurus, which is the tan shade. And I'm just using this as my transition shade on a blending brush. So I'm putting this in and above the crease area and just building up that color. And I'm also going to be applying this to like the outer third area of my eyelid. Now, I don't know if you guys saw my last tutorial, I already did a look with this palette and I had no troubles with any of those other eyeshadows, but with this look, with more of the neutral color, some of the eyeshadows weren't the best. Not really this one, but the next one gave me some trouble, which is the Virgo, which is like that taupey brown shade. And I'm taking a little bit smaller of a blending brush and just like packing this on the outer third of the lid and taking it into like the crease area as well. I'm doing little dragging out motions to get a nice blend, but I don't know. It was just something about this. Like, I don't know if I could say it was patchy. It just like didn't apply or blend that well. So that's why I go back in with the Taurus and the previous blending brush and attempt my hardest to blend those two shades together a little bit better. And then I go in with a makeup wipe and clean up that outer line. Then I take a matte white eyeshadow on an angled brush and I just clean up right below the brow bone. This will clean up any eyeshadows that traveled up too high. And then for the lid shade, I'm using the gold shade, the Leo, and I am first applying that with my finger to get the best payoff. And then I'm going in with a little flat eyeshadow brush to get those harder to reach areas. And also what gave me trouble was the airy shade, the orange shade. I tried to pack it on in between the gold and the outer corner shade, and it just pretty much kept blending away. So, yeah. And then I go back in with the first blending brush, no additional product, just to blend that gold lid shade with the rest of the look. And for the inner corner shade, I use the Gemini, and I'm just packing that on the inner corner and also along the lower lash line. And for the very outer part of the lower lash line, I go back in with the tan shade, the Taurus, and then the taupey shade, the Virgo. And I did try to get that Aries orange shade to show up one more time. It didn't really work, but we tried. And then I'm curling up my lashes and applying some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And then for false lashes, I am applying Certified Lashes in the style Sonia. And then I'm taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil in the shade Double Life and tight lining and putting that in my waterline. And here are the finished eyes. And then moving on to the face, I'm using the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer and just working that into my skin. This is probably my favorite primer for pores. And then for foundation, I like to use a mix of the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra and the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Fit Me Foundation. And I just spritz down my Morphe sponge with some Tarte Marine Boosting Mist just to dampen it. And then, yeah, I'm just pouncing and bouncing that into my skin. And for concealer, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in the shade 01. I can't believe this is the lightest shade. I mean, I know I'm kind of white. But I can't, I'm sure there's a lot more people more pale than me. And this is the lightest shade, but okay. And then I'm just using the Tarte um, Smooth Operator. I can't talk. The Smooth Operator Tinted Powder in Light just to set my base down. I'm using the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed to Bronze. And I don't know why I'm making these weird faces. But yeah, bronze in the cheeks and that temple area. To highlight, I'm using the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights on the Cusp Highlighter, and I'm first applying that with my fingers, and then I do go in with the Anastasia Highlighting Brush just to blend that into my skin, and I do apply some highlighter to my forehead and down my nose. And then for blush, I'm using the Too Faced Love Flush Blush. This one is in the shade Love Hangover, and then to contour, I'm using the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, and I'm using a mix of light and medium contour, which I don't show, but that's okay, to contour my cheeks. I contour my neck so I don't have a double chin, and I contour my nose as well. And then I take the matte highlighting shades in the palette and clean up underneath my contour, and I also pack that on under my eyes to brighten them. And then to set my face, I'm using the Chill Setting Spray by Urban Decay. And to finish off, I'm taking the Anastasia Hudson Liquid Lipstick. And that's the end. That is the end. 
I hope you guys still enjoyed this look, even though it wasn't the best with the Zodiac palette, but we tried. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!